we are here in Auckland on the city bus, which is a double-decker, like uh, hop-on, hop-off bus in most towns. Um, I'm in the front row for obvious reasons, so I can get a view of where we're going and take videos. But uh, the bus is two, not like two dollars. Uh, if you get a hop-on card, or it's a transit card here. At the Auckland Airport, you can get them in a vending machine outside. Those were sold out, so I got them at the convenience store next to the subway. But they, you can't get one on the bus. So if you want to save money and get from the airport to city center in Auckland, you can take the bus. So it's about two dollars each way. But you gotta buy the five dollar card, so it's like seven dollars, nine dollars round trip to go. What looks like to be about an hour and fifteen minutes each way. Um, you get to see quite a bit of the neighborhoods, um, the non-tourist things in Auckland, so it's actually like a free tour too, in one way. Um, and uh, it comes like every 10 minutes, so it's the number 38 bus at the Auckland airport outside of the terminals. That will bring you to a transit center, which is, you get on a number 30 bus, which is what I'm on right now. Headed downtown in the sun. The only problem is with the seats. Um, <laughs> it's hot because the sun's beating me down. Um, there's a Westfield Mall at H&M. So yeah, just more stuff that we have in the U.S. So like we all have a Westfield Mall in the U.S. somewhere. Um, yeah, it's kind of like a tour of Auckland though, basically for two dollars. So I, you can get a more expensive way of getting here. Um, it'll take you on the freeway and probably get you here much faster, but for two bucks each, each way, you can get a free tour of Auckland. And, um, it's a really warm, sunny day, so nothing bad about that. Uh, when I get down to the city center, I'll take videos and show you what there's to do down there. But as of now, we're riding this bus, having a good time. It's plenty of room. This is the only the upper floor. Met a new friend from New Zealand. He's on uh, his. Uh, he's got like two more buses past this bus, so he's he's really on a bus day. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel bad for him because he's on this bus for like a couple hours, I think. <laughs> and uh, yeah, he flew in from another part of New Zealand, so he's in the capital city right now, taking the bus just like we are. Uh, yeah, this is what the card looks like. I think I have it in my pocket. It's the Auckland Transit or the Hop Card. Yeah, so you just get one of these and you can take the city bus anywhere you want to go. Um, and here we go. Let's see what it looks like. Uh, oh, one other thing about the Auckland Airport if you fly domestically, because we just flew up here from Kingston, you don't need to show an ID anywhere. Like to go through security, to get your boarding pass, you don't need to show any ID. It's crazy. And you can bring liquids on the plane. But internationally, you're probably going to have to show your passport. So when we leave here, fly back to California, yes, probably going to have to show my ID. But just to get here, no ID. It's crazy uh, how like trusting they are of people. Uh, but. Yeah, I think this could be Pride Month in this neighborhood. Because I'm definitely seeing Pride flags. So. I'm assuming those are Pride flags. That's what they look like. Similar to uh, back home. But yeah, this looks like a city mall with uh, Westfield, which we all know. We all know that brand. But yeah, I'm going to sign off here on the bus, get some more videos, and I'll see everyone city center downtown Auckland today. Let's see what it's like. Bye.